But now it is the Supreme Jumbos that are getting up here who will go directly on the welfare instantly. Now, let me get to our top story in this stack and then go to the stack. Headline from the Associated Press 15 hours ago. 15 hours ago. So this broke late last night, a full week and a half after we first broke it, a week after we double confirmed it with emergency manager head of McAllen, Texas, with the video of it happening and with our ice whistleblower on the border. Off-duty meeting with us. About the stand down. Here is the headline. U.S. releases immigrant families won't say how many AP. It goes on to say they are released and allowed to go wherever they want. They're being totally released. There is no internal Border Patrol roundups, haven't been in six years, except for two or three staged events at meatpacking plants. And Homeland Security, four years ago, it came out in the AP, takes them to the ICE facility and gives them green cards on the spot. So they do staged raids, and a day later, they're back at the meatpacking plant. Obama's not even doing that now. So if you can make it in, you're legal, and you get free welfare, you're not going to have to work. You weigh 500 pounds, we got some Section 8 housing for you. Let's read the article. Now, remember, people couldn't believe this a week and a half ago when we first broke it, a week ago when Drudge picked up our second article. We got the federal document at the Fed Biz Ops site sent to us by Border Patrol, who said, if you notice this, that's how we're always breaking all the stories, is we get it all in the intel and the emails and phone calls. And we're at the border every week now, 200 and something miles away from Austin, meeting with the actual Border Patrol people. And they said, look, we're ordered to load them on buses when they get to the border. We bring them into the churches that stage there. We give them vouchers to get on the buses and they travel deeper into town, go to this tent city at the Sacred Heart Church, and you can talk to the emergency manager. He's allowed to talk to you. We go there. The emergency manager admits it all. The Border Patrol would instantly be fired, prosecuted, persecuted, you name it, if they told you. This is massive federal and state crime being committed every single day, and the AP is now admitting it. AP, reporting from Washington, the Obama administration has released into the U.S. an untold number of immigrant families caught traveling illegally from Central America. That's the trains that arrive daily in recent months. And although the government knows how many it's released, it won't say publicly. So they're aiding them. They're saying they'll make them legal. They're releasing them, and no one's getting in trouble. But if you fly tomorrow, they're going to want to put you in a naked body scanner and grab your testicles or take your wife's brassiere ear off. Okay, understand, although the government knows how many it's released, it won't say. Do you understand the Republican leadership acts like Rand Paul and Ted Cruz that are criticizing this? I mean, Ted, Ted Cruz just says we ought to follow the law. The media's like, how radical, how racist. There's a judge ruling that a border fence is racist. Really, can I go to Mexico, get everything paid for, or, or it's racist? They would laugh at me. <sighs> this is the total suicidal suicide pact religion of political correctness. And here's the deal. The general public still has no idea what this means. This is the North American Union. This is the crisis. You think it's bad to have hundreds of thousands of illegals showing up every few months, directly going on welfare, 14-year-old kids, two-year-old babies, 500-pound fat people? Do you have any idea what's going to happen in the next wave? I predict up to 1 million a month. I'm on record if this isn't stopped. And the crime rate, I have mainstream news all over Texas, is the main target zone is just exploding. The home break-ins, the carjackings, the crime of the completely collapsed Mexico. Highest crime rate in the world, 130,000 dead. I keep quoting old numbers from four years ago because I just got that number in my head and say over 70,000. It's now over 130,000. It was only 100,000. I looked at the numbers. You can pull them up. Just type in number of dead in Mexico in the last decade. And it was 100,000 a year ago. Now it's 130-something. That's what we know of. They're finding mass graves everywhere. And it's Mexicans killing Mexicans. But, oh, the La Raza race uh, god, uh, hardcore, uh, you know, into racism. A lot of people that know him well, 
totally gone off the deep end. People I know that know him say he's crazy now. It used to be like this. Robert Rodriguez has it in movies where it shows Don Johnson shooting pregnant Mexicans in the stomach. That ain't going on. There's not people with cowboy hat, white guys shooting Mexicans. Mexico is where it's happening. But there's no discussion of that. 130 plus thousand dead. Look at that headline. La Raza demands amnesty from new major leader Kevin McCarthy. New majority leader Kevin McCarthy. I mean, that ought to say, the race demands amnesty. That's what it means. It's literally the Klan. But it's so socially acceptable that, that, that Hispanics will go to other Hispanics and say, you better join the Raza or you're a sellout because you want guns, you want private property, you're against abortion. Well, let me tell you, you're not welcome in the Raza, baby. This is the total end of the country. This is the murdering of the nation right now and the rule of law. Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?